la la. Welcome to our channel. I am Fox Gaming Vixen Roxy. If you find our video helpful and entertaining, please like and subscribe to support our channel. Let us know in the comment section if there are other tutorials you might want to see. Here, we will show you some of the basics of upgrading your equipment. In Dark Souls, your equipment is the key to staying alive. Keeping it upgraded is paramount to your success. We are going to show you how to do some of the basic upgrades you will need to do in the game, and the embers which the blacksmiths need to do the upgrades. Upgrades are done in two steps. Reinformance, which upgrades equipment to a certain level. Once you reach the peak of that level, your equipment will then need to be modified to put it into the next category for upgrading. There are several different types of upgrades, standard, fire, divine, and magic. We will show you what you need and who to see to get them done. I'll even show you how to do a boss weapon. So grab your warhammer, invisibility ring, and crystal ball. Let's get started. There are four blacksmiths in Dark Souls. They are listed here with the zones they are located. Each can be given embers you collect during your journeys to enhance the upgrades they offer. All blacksmiths can upgrade weapons to plus five with titanite shards, repair equipment, and upgrade armor to full if you have the materials. Andre and Undead Parish can be given these embers. Here is a typical upgrade to plus five. Once a weapon is at plus five, it can be modified to other types of upgrades like divine and fire. The basic upgrades use titanite shards, which are fairly easy to accumulate or be purchased. Notice the arrow is pointing to the required component needed for the upgrade. Always pay close attention to materials used in upgrades. Once at plus five, you will notice your weapon will show up in the modify menus it qualifies for. This is the list of modifications available. Qualified items will show up in the list below. Here, we are upgrading a longsword to divine using green titanite shards. Green titanite shards are used to upgrade weapons to divine, fire, or magic. Further upgrades require additional green titanite in that type. Once a weapon has been modified, it falls out of the list. The hand axe I am upgrading to plus six. This modification uses large titanite shards. Once the axe has been modified, it drops off the list. Here I am modifying a plus five divine longsword to plus six divine. This modification uses white chunks. Once modified, it drops off the list and can be upgraded normally by the blacksmith or at the bonfire if you have the right tools. The last upgrade to any tree will require a slab of that type. The slabs are very rare, so use them prudently. You can switch your display to see the effects of the upgrade and the stat increases that are applied. Here I am modifying a falchion to plus 6, which we will upgrade to plus 10 using large titanite shards. At plus 10, weapons can be modified to plus 11 using titanite chunks. Now the falchion can be upgraded normally using titanite chunks up to plus 14. We could upgrade it to plus 15 using a slab, but we chose not to as we will be downgrading it down to plus 10 later.
Rickert is the smith in New Londo ruins, just outside the elevator and down the stairs in a jail cell. He will accept the enchanted ember. He can modify plus five weapons to magic weapons using green titanite. Once modified, a magic weapon can be upgraded normally to plus five using green titanite shards. Once at plus five, a magic weapon can be modified to enchanted using blue titanite chunks. Once modified to enchanted, a weapon can be upgraded normally to plus four enchanted using blue titanite chunks and plus five enchanted using a blue slab. Vamos is the smith in the catacombs. He modifies fire and chaos weapons. Here are the embers he requires. Vamos will modify a plus five weapon to fire. Here I modify the hand axe to fire using green titanite shards. Now I upgrade the axe to plus five using green titanite. Plus five fire, we can now modify the axe to plus six fire using red titanite chunks. Now we upgrade the axe to plus nine fire using the red chunks. At plus nine fire, we can upgrade the fire axe to plus 10 using a red slab or modify it to chaos. Here we modify the fire axe to chaos axe using red chunks. Now we can upgrade the chaos axe to plus four using chunks. It can get to plus five using red slab. The giant blacksmith is in an Orlando. He accepts the crystal ember, which we won't cover. He also does lightning upgrades and boss weapons. Here we are upgrading a plus 10 Claymore to a boss weapon. Notice it requires a boss soul with the plus 10 weapon. Once created, a boss weapon can be upgraded normally using Demon Titanite up to plus 5. Here I am modifying a plus 10 Falcon to lightning using titanite chunks. Once modified, it naturally drops off the list. Now we can upgrade the lightning Falcon normally using titanite chunks up to plus four and then up to plus five using a slab. Hope this helps get your gear up to par.
Click on the subscribe button and the notification bell, and it will let you know the next time we post another entertaining video. We want to thank you for watching. <sighs> Ooh la la.